So in my last tutorial, I have created this menu with the drop down, and now it's time to create these two pages and handle the active link. So first, go to the app.js and create our routes. Let's load up app.js. Now I have two routes. What I will do is quickly add what were the two routes? Let's quickly check on the nav controller. We have gallery add and gallery view. So I will use template gallery view dash gallery. And for now, let's keep the user controller. I'm not going to change or have any data in it. Okay, so the gallery view is taken care. Duplicate that and say add let's change the convention a bit it should be gallery dash view and it should be gallery dash add okay markup will be very simple let's copy this and i will create two files inside public templates gallery folder i will have gallery dash add dot html paste this this is my gallery add page that's done and next is inside public templates gallery I'll have gallery view.html paste the code this is my gallery view page okay this is done I don't need to do anything else let's refresh view gallery this is my gallery view page and this is my gallery add page all right this part is done close it up and yeah now my requirement is very simple when i'm on a page which is say gallery add this link should be highlighted and when i'm on gallery view this should be highlighted so what I can do is just to give another example I will say test also goes to gallery view okay so how does it work I will have a function which will say let's say check active link okay now I will check whether the current location or the current path is equal to the path which is provided I'll pass the say route link so if dollar location dot path equals the route link which will be passed as the argument I'll return make active so this is the class and I will add this in ng class and I have to app.scss I have to write that thing so what I will do is I will say make active is a class which will make the font weight bold uh, yeah I don't want to make it ugly let's keep it to that is my gulp working SAS completed yeah fine so I have the CSS ready I'll go to this link let's all right when it's a drop down obviously drop down will not have the bold thing but here I can say ng class equals check active link right and then pass the link dot url so i'll say link dot url okay it should work let's check mm, i'm on gallery add on view nothing is coming up because i think i have gallery view yeah so this 
should have been bold let's first add the class and check if things are working correctly class equals make active All right, so my class is not working. Uh, I have to check what's the CSS issue. Uh, let me check the source code. Oops, okay, so I don't have the CSS included. Uh, let's quickly go to blade and we'll need to do an elixir on it. No, rather actually I don't have it in my version so I can say straight away asset it's inside css app.css save it okay it's bold now get rid of this get rid of the class and yes so this is bold this is not which means I'll need to copy this and this will become sublink.url fresh still not coming I think let me check if app dot CSS yeah I have to make it navbar dot make active just to make sure I'm only inside the navbar and then ng class right, let's check once again inside my add this is correct okay view view is there and yes this is also bold so yes as you can see now my basic thing is working where i can say it's view and when it is view then the view gallery is bold and the test also becomes bold and on add gallery only this is bold right so yeah that's how we can handle the navbar it's handling the logout login and we come to the drop downs this is again dynamic in nature i can control it through my controller or you can even break it through a json if required and handle everything here right so yeah that's about it thanks for watching guys if you like the videos do share these videos on other social sites like facebook twitter and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below the video i'll be uploading the code on github which you can find in the description of this video so that you can refer to the code now the master branch will always be a work in progress so you might see some difference from the existing code which is shown on the video thanks for watching guys